guys welcome back to my channel and today I have another nail tutorial for you guys I filmed this back in May so it's been a minute we're now here in what August it's like August 10th yep today is August 10th so I definitely have improved some of the things that I have done since this video um it's the best thing about nails. The more you practice, the more you get done. So I'm taking off my nails here and getting any lifting, which I am a problem lifter. So you'll see that I do take off quite a bit of lifting because, you know, I just lift pretty much no matter what. Um, and this one I got so many compliments on. So I'm really excited to put this up finally. Um, but yeah, so that was taking it off. Now I am prepping the nails. Again, this is in a fast forward motion, so it looks like I'm super rough here, but I'm not. It's literally on speed one, and that's a cuticle bit, so I'm just getting everything off the nail plate in preparation for the gel. So I put Vitaprime down, and then I put just a little bit, and then I do a very little bit of tack, and then I do a base coat, which was obviously not in the video, but I do. And now we have the bee's knees and I'm obsessed with this color, obsessed. And for gels that are not necessarily dark, I'm still trying to figure out the best way to use them. I float them across and I've, again, I've gotten so much better. You'll see with probably my red nail tutorial, which will probably not be out until like next month, let's be real here. Um, Cause I have about five or six videos saved up for you guys that I just forgot to edit. Yeah, so there's a bunch of nail tutorials coming soon if you guys are really into them. Um, yeah, so I like to keep it thin, but I also like to, you know, make sure I have enough stability in my nails. So here I am just taking a thin layer of it and then I am going to cure this one by itself because I always do that with my thumb. And then we're going to take Ready For Rio, which again, these go together so well and you can see why because they are just beautiful. So I am doing a half and half nail. And if you can see, I keep this in real time for you guys, actually quite a bit in this video, because I know in my last video I posted, you guys really liked the real time versus, you know, speed, I'm amazing, I can do everything. So this will be real time. So essentially I take half of Ready For Rio and half the bee's knees on the brush and I do each side and then I come back together and I get both on my brush, which I will show you. And I do have another tutorial where I show you it again, how I did it previously, so I can link that. But you can see I'm kind of dragging it and I'm going to let you guys watch this. I'm not gonna sit here and be like, oh, this is what you do here, this is what you do here. You can see it, you literally are seeing it. And then I'm just taking solid colors and painting my nails. So I think I'm going to do a lot of fast forward here. Um, Cause again, they're solid colors. I take a glitter and then I take ready for Rio and then I take another glitter and I kind of ombre it down and I'll come back when I'm ombre it down. So probably about five minutes or so.
Right, so this is the color we are going to bring down our pointer finger and I love this I loved this color combo so much it just it spoke to me and I love the matte that's in this like it gave me all the feels like I literally love this one so so much so here I am ombre it down my nail so when I did the second layer of this I didn't really push it all the way back because I knew I was going to be ombre it down. And I think I wipe a little bit off because I think intuition's telling me I haven't, yeah, that there was just a lot, like even going back and looking at this editing, I'm like, there's a lot back there. I was like, I need to show an ombre, not, not just have glitter over the whole thing. And I like to take mine almost all the way to the edge, which you see here is I take sparse pieces all the way down but I definitely don't like a lot towards the bottom because obviously I want it to be kind of an ombre um, of the glitter down the nail because you want to show off the awesomeness that is the undercolor, but you still want that glitter. So I am taking a, another layer of Hot Dodger. Is that what it's called? I think that's what it's called. I had it up on the, the screen at one point. Um, and I am taking one step here and building up my structure. I'm doing a slip layer and then I come in with a big glob and walk it down the nail, like walk it out, but walk it down. No, anybody? Okay. So yeah, we, unfortunately, this is before when I'm still trying to figure out how to film, I had autofocus on. And so when I start fast forwarding here, I do this all in, um, slow motion or real real time for you guys, but it still doesn't help the autofocus. Um, I tried, I don't have autofocus on anymore when I'm filming nail tutorials. It takes me a lot longer, but I'm filming nail tutorials. So I've learned since then. I think there are a couple more videos where you will see autofocus kind of, I wouldn't say ruin it, but uh, didn't help and I'm not in frame. So this is before I had my screen as well. So I've definitely improved. And if you watched my last tutorial, you would agree with that, I would hope. <laughs> I really hope. So yeah, I walk it down, flip my hand upside down, let it level. So yeah, there's that autofocus. So I hope you guys don't get dizzy. I'm sorry if you do, um, but yeah, I put it on. I turn it upside down, let the kind of gel come in the middle and then flip it over when it's in the lamp, it kind of spreads out just a little bit 
nothing too like um, serious because you put it in the lamp. It's obviously curing. So I go over this back and forth on all the nails. And if you notice that it kind of cut to a new thing because I am curing, not in between all of them, but I usually do about two and then pop it in the lamp because I like my structure to be there. So I don't work fast enough to where that's the case. I'm improving and my nails that I'm wearing now look really good. I mean, not, not that I don't look good in this video, but I'm just saying I'm improving a lot. Okay. We're growing as people. So I'm going to come in with another layer on top. So I have actually filed, buffed and everything already. So if you see chunks missing, yeah, te technical difficulties. It's because I have filed it off and that's pretty typical for me. I'm learning, but, um, shaping is the struggle of life and I'm working really hard on improving that. And so that's kind of what I'm doing right now. Um, in August versus when this was filmed in May. So it may not look as perfect as my nails are starting to look now. I shouldn't, I shouldn't say perfect because they never look perfect, especially for me, <laughs> but I'm getting there. I promise. So yeah, so I'm going to do a whole second layer of this on all the nails. So I'll just let you watch that. You don't need me to talk you through it because it's literally just a second layer. <laughs> I'm so excited because top coating makes everything just so, so pretty. And yeah, don't worry. That white will go away off my skin. I've said it many times that I just have super sensitive um, skin to alcohol and acetone. And then we will put some cuticle oil after washing my hands and we'll see it. And I darken the screen here in a minute because I have such a washed out, um, screen that I wanted to show you kind of more realistic. That's what they look like. 
But, you know, this, again, is kind of what they look like as well, but without the studio lights. So I wanted to show you both. So thank you guys for sticking with me. Go ahead and like and subscribe, and I will catch you in the next one. Bye-bye.